Moving on from that one, let's talk about Tyler the Creator destroying um, Hot Ones. That was fucking interesting. Um, so Tyler the Creator had an interview with Nardwa, which was really good as per usual. I love the little pit stops they have together because Tyler does respect Nardwa a lot for his interviewing skills and, you know, the background that he has and whatnot. And they always talk about the music. And he made a point here to stress that he wants a return to the music as well. And I think he made some really good points. But of course, people on the internet... I'm not too sure what's happening with Tyler the Creator. Maybe because he's become more successful and stuff over the years. But it seems like people online, especially on Twitter, they kind of think, they kind of find him insufferable. They kind of find him obnoxious. They find him up his own ass, which I don't get to be fair, because I just find him really to be a really confident dude who kind of knows his worth and whatnot. Um, but people don't really respond to Tyler anymore. They don't respond to Tyler as good as they used to. Before it used to be like, un, you know, unanimous sort of praise about what he says. But now you see a lot of people like nitpicking and poking holes on what he says and generally being a little bit more, you know, disagreeable when it comes to the things that he puts out there. So this wasn't really received well when he said what he said. But I, I understand, the in, you know, the intentions, what he was trying to say. And I get the core of it. But people didn't really take this too well. But this is Tyler, the creator on music criticism and whatnot about music and i'll be like oh this was recorded at this studio this is track this this is this came out this year and it could probably be annoying but we're at a point where a musician who you know for music is being interviewed on a platform about music talking in detail about music his passion and what he's known for and people are like why does he keep doing that but you know if i was on here gossiping or talking about so-and-so who got beef, da 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 Oh, man, it's, uh, people will feed into it. And it's like, no, we need to get back to talking about music. We mm -hmm. need to stop fucking going sneaker shopping or fucking deep-throating hot wings for an hour. <laughs> like, talk about your album. Talk about music. Exactly. Talk about the 15 songs that you guys have spent time to get mixed and mastered and put your heart into and produced and did all these things. And then when the album comes out and it sells two copies, everyone's confused, but it's like... They don't want to talk about the music or the album. They rather fucking go eat chicken wings and sneaker shop. And like, <laughs> so I hope that overall, every musician gets to a point where they sit and speak about their music and the music that they love. And the conversation about music just comes back because the fact Indeed. that you get every song for $10, what that subconsciously I think does is have people like not respect music as worthy. And when people don't talk about it, that makes it. I just think that, it's just not a lot of love in it, even from a fan perspective. And I agree with everything he says. And I think that's something that I kind of have been annoyed with in general, because there's not really a lot of platforms that musicians want to go to anyway, where they speak about music. And they don't, they don't really like doing interviews in general because most of the platforms exist out there are mostly in the, for the, all the salacious stuff, right? The gossip, the rumors, the baby mama drama, the beef between rappers and shit, the scandals, all this sort of stuff, right? But one thing I think that needs to be, stressed is that i think it's also the onus needs to be on the musicians they need to put more emphasis on the music and if they go to do an interview with a certain platform maybe stipulate hey i want to talk about the music only don't ask me about my baby mom don't ask me about my baby father don't ask me about this or that let's talk about the music you should put that as a stipulation but i also have been wondering in general why don't artists a lot of them especially in the hip-hop space do like listening parties on their live stream just rock up, just put your fucking iPhone up, go on Instagram live, or you can even do YouTube live stream on your phone and just do a listening party for your album when it drops and just have your fans from all over the world tune in as you kind of pause and stop the tunes and talk about it and say, hey, I recorded this last year. Oh yeah, this song I recorded that day. Do you guys remember when I posted that thing about I had a cold? This is a song I recorded when I had a cold. This song is about my partner. This song is about someone that passed away. This, like talk about it that way i don't understand why more musicians don't do that that's an easy way to actually get the music side of your album out and tell that story because that might actually help some people resonate with your album more it might make them maybe feel more connected with you personally because you've gone through similar things that they've gone through it might just make them like you more because they see another side of you because you're actually talking about the music and the craft that goes into it my theory is this though the reason why most musicians don't do that sort of stuff is because the music they make is devoid of meaning. They just make whatever they think sounds good and they hope people like it. There's nothing really of substance in their music. So the last thing they want to do is talk about something that they don't really 
care about that much or that they don't really think too deeply about that's a problem i don't think a lot of them can actually articulate why they put that hi-hat there why that verse comes in on discount why the song fades out there and switches there why they have a subject matter that says this on that verse and then it flips the entire one yeah they don't have any idea they just do stuff like subconscious you know subconsciously or they do it automatically or they do it without even you know whatever any sort of intent in it and then if it comes out and it's good it's good so then the actual drama is what kind of feeds into the hype and the you know keeping the stuff in rotation because there's not really anything to hold the music together that's the actual point of it, which is sad but i think in the in this question or in this answer that tyler gave he mentioned hot ones and i think that was a bit unfair the deep throating of hot ones um the chicken wings and stuff comment was a bit out of left field because if anything ironically enough even though that guy's show is the most hacky of one it's also the best music platform because that host i forgot his name he actually does research on the piece of people he interviews, whether they're actors or whatever. He legitimately does research on them. He actually asks some of the better questions. You'll actually get some of the best interviews from hip hop artists from Hot Ones because he actually asks some questions about early mixtapes, random f MySpace posts that they uploaded about the. Like he's really got some. He actually is quite nardwari in his level of research that he does for his interview subjects. He actually goes goes a long way to actually, you know, provide you with a much better information. I think so personally. But hey, what can you do? I did enjoy um most of his commentary. What I have to say, and of course Tyler did clear up that. Because I think a lot of people were pointing that the Hot Ones guy was actually good. So Tyler, the creator, did say this on Instagram. Um, he clarified his comments after the fact because people online, again, like I said, there's a weird movement online. I think Tyler probably recognizes it of people just not being fans of him. I'm not sure why. Maybe because he talks really eloquently. or Maybe because he's up his own ass a little bit, whatever. But the people don't really like Tyler too much. I'm not sure that the, the, the tone around them has changed online. It's very strange. It says here, in the interview I shared... A thought about the lack of journalism in music and art artists that son that seldomly speak about the music and only gossip, etc. And use hot ones as one, two examples. It comes off so I like how he, did, he didn't apologize for sneaker shopping. He apologized for hot ones, but not sneaker shopping. I love that bit. It comes off as having so much disdain towards a show, which I don't. But I really was about. Uh, so it really but but really it was to be used as a broader example that popped in my head while i was trying to make a point i could have said one of the podcast outlets that or really pushes out more negative stuff but in that moment i didn't so sean you didn't really deserve the energy that comes off wasn't my intention at all uh quote unquote deep throated chicken sounds hilarious to me I'm highly opinionated and outspoken, so it comes off as my usual quote-unquote complaining like everyone else does. Mine just gets shared more than regular posters or comment, even if most of the video is me giving praise and showing gratitude to a multitude of things. That's not what's going to get shared or spoken about. This will not most likely get lost in the clip co continues to get tossed around, but at least a few of you will see this. It won't change much since, you've, since it's out, but yeah, really wish I used a different example. You see like a really sweet old lady so at least he apologized to the hot ones dude that was good to see in that regard but i thoroughly agree with everything tyler creator said there i agree with everything he said there 